another update the gesso has dried on these two pieces i really love the texture it's given this even though i'm gonna paint over this and it's going to be like very solid colors i really like how it looks like so i'm tempted to keep it but i won't um this on the other hand i also really like where this ended up like it looks like some kind of watercolor painting almost i don't know is it just me i finished the painting that I was working on last week and it's time to move on to this big wooden frame that I already gessoed and primed so uh, I'm planning to use house paint to paint this piece because I have a lot of leftover ones and the last time I did that even though these are odorless paints that aren't supposed to be like they're not supposed to smell as much when you're painting indoors the last time i used it it still gave me quite a headache so i'm going to move everything outdoors i realized there's a lot of prep i need to do for this piece in particular so i should get started on that now and while it's drying then i can work on something else uh the reason why i'm <laughs> dressed this way is because this is what i was wearing when i was painting the doghouse and I just know I'm gonna get paint all over myself because I got paint all over this shirt and I don't even understand how I did that but at least now I won't feel so bad in case I get more paint on myself. This is the one that's used on this office so I'm gonna use that as the base. And Paintbrush. Paints. Oh, the mixing stick. I forgot I need that. Bone white. I already had white. Maybe I won't need to use this. Oh, it's a different kind of white though. Alright. Let's move everything outside. Okay. Um I haven't used these paints since I made the doghouse, so I really hope they're still okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pivot and figure out something else for this project. Let's see. Ooh, that looks like a brick. I don't know if I can use that. Let's give it a shot. Nice. The rain has stopped and my first layer is dry so I'm gonna tape off the design. So what I I saw this online and I, I thought it was really cute to do for a big wall mural. It's basically going to be like a really colorful checkered piece. So I'm gonna tape off that pattern. It, I felt like it was so perfect for me because I had all of those colors that I used in the doghouse so I've been looking for a project to reuse those so this seemed like the ideal project for that. I should have probably measured. It's fine. Ah! That first line is not straight. Here's something I learned from being a home makeover show junkie. After masking, you want to paint over all your tape with the same base color that you used so that um, if it does bleed through to the other side, it will bleed through with the same color that's on the base, protecting it 
from all your next layers. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting this much. I don't think I am. Here we are. I decided to take a look at my peg before moving forward and I realized I did the tape wrong but I honestly can't be bothered to fix it so I'm just gonna go with it. Mine will be a little different which is fine. I'll make it my own, you know? Alright, so now the idea is I've taped off my squares and then I get to paint different shades on the inside of the squares to create a fun little pattern. Okay, here goes nothing. Why I can't get the very edge, which is really annoying. I mean, this might just be the masking tape as well, so I probably don't even need to paint this part, but it bugs me that it's showing through. All right, where should we paint the next blue one? That's gonna need another coat because it's so streaky. dry a little and then do a second coat. <laughs> I used this to apply the gesso and I guess I didn't wash it well enough because it's like really stiff. Oops. Let me ask you guys something. If this turns out horribly and I end up not using it, like if it's a complete fail of a project, do you still want to see it? Or should I just keep it to myself? Because sometimes I will do that. Like I'll make something that just doesn't pan out so I just don't show it to anyone. But would you be interested in seeing the entire process of something knowing that it's going to be a fail in the end? Let me know. Look at that. I don't know if I like that. Color. Maybe I'll add the yellow. The thing about the yellow is it was so light last time, but maybe it needs a yellow. It seems kind of dark at the moment. Let's see if adding pink will make this better. I'm not loving it so far, I'll be completely honest. Okay, I decided to add the yellow. super clean because my brush is not super clean whatever <gasps> oh no oh, damn it so dark. I don't even know if you can still see anything. I regret taking off the knee pads. Alright, it's the next day. I did a couple of extra coats per color off camera because I figured that would be boring to look at but I had to share the peeling process with you guys. Here's hoping I don't get a lot of bleed. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That's okay, I can touch that up. So that's not great but look how clean it is on the other side. Oh, <laughs> the little ones I can touch up, it's okay. But for the most part, I'm happy with that. That's fairly clean.
I'm finding the bits of tape that I peeled off, the two colors like that, so pretty. I mean, what am I gonna do with that? But it's so nice. Alright, so there was a little bit of a bleed, especially here on the edges, but I think I can clean that up real quick, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. What do you guys think? It's a little small, if I'm honest, compared to the size of the wall. I thought this would take up a lot more space, but it's pretty, it's cute, so I guess it can stay there for now. Um, maybe someday I'll get a bigger piece and put it there, but yeah, it's a good temporary piece, I'd say. <laughs> It feels so good to slowly fill up the space with um, these little pieces. So I'm also happy that I'm taking my time and reusing as much of the material that I have accessible to me as possible. But now I wanna talk to you guys about something a little bit different. So if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I am very much into journaling and I created a book journal for myself. I'll leave a link to that video um, in the cards or in the description bar below if you want to check that out. So I've shown a couple of flip throughs of this journal in the past. So I'm not gonna go through that again. I'll just like quickly show you the new pages that I haven't shown anyone. Uh, these ones in particular, I think turned out really cutely. And that's because I used this paper. So I got this paper from Coco Rosa. They did send me the paper to try out and I just think the designs were so pretty so they matched really well with the spreads that I was trying to make for these books in particular. They recently sent me a few more things. This time I have these sets of stamps. These are the colors that I got. We have Midnight Black, A Hint of Pesto, Jumbo Java Ocean Depth. I've just found this whole color palette to be very like fall themed. And then these are wheat. It's so cute, they can stand up like this as well. So this is wheat, aspen mint, mango madness, and malted mauve. And these I find very like spring-like colors. I also picked out this washi tape sticker sheet, but honestly, this is not what I expected. I thought I was purchasing a whole roll of washi tape, but instead what showed up was this strip with stickers, but like the gold foil pattern on it is quite pretty. I ordered this one specifically because at the time when I was ordering, I was reading the Atlas 6 and the Atlas Paradox, so I thought that these would be really cute to accompany that spread. This is the spread that I made for the Atlas 6 when I read it. I won't be making another one for the Atlas Paradox because quite honestly, I just did not like it. So I wanted to use one of these and then just cut it like so. So as you can see, it is like a washi tape material. So it's quite translucent and I thought that would look cute like here layered on. I bought one of these, which has been extremely useful for sewing and like little repairs and things, but really, its purpose was for journaling, <laughs> like so. So what do you think? Here or up here to cover up this weird drawing I made. This here is actually like from the cover of the book that I tried to copy. Uh, it's okay, it's not amazing. <laughs> it's not an amazing copy. Maybe I'll just cover that up. And then it, it kind of shows through and has the same like round elements underneath. This, this is what that looks like. Look at that. Look at that, how it, how it reflects off the light. So pretty. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Let's try to make something with part two. I want to make use of these clear stamps. I'm thinking like, like just like a floral border and then this can live in the middle. Malted mauve color. Let's do a hint of pesto. Look at that. Okay, I'm learning. It's best not to really press down and saturate the ink, I mean the stamp, because then you're not going to get as clear of a picture. And then I really like the look of like just torn paper. So this you can save and then use for another spread. <laughs> I'm such a hoarder, but honestly, it just, it, it looks nice to use as background elements. So why wouldn't you keep it? simple very minimalist spread but super cute really happy with how that turned out so if you wanted to get anything from coco rosa they've given me a discount code for my viewers you can check it out in the description box below i'm going to attempt to make chawanmushi but instead of like having a pork topping on top i'm gonna make it with mushrooms these are king oyster mushrooms i love these they taste the meatiest to me in texture. Starts off as still as possible, that's the best. So I'm gonna try to strain it. Summer William. Yeah? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. I had to do it again because we strained everything to get the eggs as still as possible. But then we forgot to add the tofu, so tofu is supposed to go first. Okay, Lee, strainer time.
Ini nih. Ngeket. 